On May 11th, the 5K and walk will have, be held to raise money and awareness for brain cancer and tumors. May is Brain Cancer Awareness Month. And how about this? For more than five years, hundreds of thousands of dollars through waves of gray have been raised to battle this disease. This morning, we are pleased to be joined by Diane Fenton Waters and Dr. Rob Cavalier, uh, part of Waves of Gray. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Diane, I'll begin thank with you. you. How powerful has it been to know that hundreds of people have joined your cause to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars? It's amazing. Uh, when I first started this, it was, it was my story, it was my family's story, and now I realize it is way beyond that. It is everybody's story who comes out. And that's kind of what I wanted, a, a community for everybody to come and raise the awareness of the disease and raise money for research. So it's, it's amazing. And this comes, if people are unfamiliar, your, your husband passed away from, yes. from brain cancer as well. My husband was diagnosed and he fought five days shy of one year. And there was just nothing that I could find in the area to support the cause myself and a few of his family members drove to Mississippi where we heard of a walk out there and the whole seven hour drive I was just <laughs> there's no way we have to drive this far so the wheels started turning and that's kind of how it started just well let's bring in Dr. Cavalier mm -hmm. uh, doctor it, you, you were her husband's oncologist uh, what is the treatment plan for patients and really family members who realize that this might be their future a treatment generally consists of a combination of surgery, radiation, and medicines to manage the disease. These generally should be administered through a multidisciplinary team experienced with managing this disease. There's only about 12, 13,000 cases of glioblastoma, for example, diagnosed every year. So it's important that where you get treatment, you're going to get a team that has the expertise to manage it. Um, Unfortunately, these treatments have limitations and most patients do pass away within one to two years of being diagnosed. So one of the most important elements of treatments is participating in clinical trials and that's, those are treatments that we're investigating to improve on what we already know to um, help people live longer and better. What are some of the, you know, money's going towards research, what are some of the new cutting edge research techniques that, that you're seeing in the field? So there's a, a few different things, a few different strategies that are being investigated. Uh, currently, we're looking at different delivery mechanisms. For example, delivering the drug straight to the tumor, bypassing some of the obstacles to drug delivery to the tumor. That, for example, taking a pill or something intravenous may not actually reach the tumor because of the way we're designed and built. So we're working on strategies to bypass it by introducing the drug directly to the tumor. We're also looking at different immune strategies, injecting viruses into people's tumors or using different vaccines, ways of capitalizing on the efficient killing strategies of the immune system and getting it to work for us. Um, that's on top of just trying different drugs and different combinations of treatments to make things work better. Well, Diane, let's talk about the walk. Let's, mm -hmm. let's make this the, the happy pivot that we're, we're certainly here for. How can people sign up and um, especially, are there specific registration deadlines if people want to join it? Yes, uh, online registration actually closes at noon on Thursday the 9th of May. And then we will have packet pickup, two locations, uh, two times at MD Anderson, Thursday evening and then Friday evening. And then there will be a location at Jack's Beach area on Friday morning. So all that can be found on our Facebook page and that'll take you to the Run Sign Up website to sign up for the walk and donate as well. And the walk, uh, Sea Walk Pavilion, Saturday, sea May walk. 11th? Mm -hmm. Start The walk starts at 8 a.m. We suggest getting there a little bit earlier. Parking has filled up quickly in the past. Last year, we had 1,240 people come out. That's fantastic. So, yeah. And if someone's not able to make the walk that specific day, are they still able to contribute and be a part of Waves of Grey? They can. They can make a donation, or we have this year a new virtual option where you can sign up. And um, the virtual option doesn't come with a T-shirt and the medal, but you can be a part of the cause in your own area if you're not local. Well, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for both coming in with us this morning. We'll have more information about Waves of Grey within this story on our website very shortly. And we're back right after this.